Chapter 1. The Basics of Tennis Tennis is a fun game that you can play with your friends or family. To play tennis, you need to know the rules. Let's learn about the basics of tennis. When you play tennis, you start by serving the ball. One person stands behind the baseline, which is the back line of the court. They throw the ball up in the air and hit it with their racket. The ball should go over the net and land in the service box on the other side of the net. The net is in the middle of the court. It separates the two sides where you and your opponent stand. You have to make sure the ball goes over the net and lands in your opponent's court. If the ball doesn't go over the net or goes out of bounds, you don't score any points. Speaking of boundaries, the court is marked with lines. These lines show you where the ball should land. If the ball lands outside these lines, it's considered out of bounds. You have to hit the ball within the boundaries to score points. Now, let's talk about scoring points. You start with zero, which is called love in tennis. Each time you successfully hit the ball over the net and into your opponent's court, you score a point. The first point is called 15. When you score another point, you have 30. And if you score a third point, you have 40. If you score one more point after 40, you win the game. But there's more. In tennis, you have to win not just one game, but a whole set. A set is made up of many games. Usually, you have to win six games to win a set. If both players win six games, they play a special game called a tiebreaker to decide the winner of the set. Remember, when you hit the ball, it shouldn't bounce more than once in your opponent's court. You have to be quick and try to make it difficult for your opponent to hit the ball back to you. The more strategic and skillful you are, the better chance you have of winning. So, my friend, now you know the basics of tennis. Serving the ball, hitting over the net, staying within the boundaries, scoring points, and aiming for your opponent's court, those are the main things you need to remember. Grab a racket and a ball and start practicing. Have fun and enjoy the game of tennis. Question, what are some basic rules of tennis? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, Mastering the Tennis Equipment. Chapter 2, Mastering the tennis equipment, Samantha was excited to start her tennis lessons. She had her racket, tennis balls, sports shoes, and the perfect tennis attire ready. She couldn't wait to hit the court and show off her skills. First, Samantha examined her equipment for tennis. Her racket was lightweight and easy to hold. It had a strong grip, which would help her hit the ball with precision and power. She made sure the strings were tight and the racket was in good condition. A well-maintained racket was essential for a great game. Next, Samantha checked her tennis balls. She found a fresh can of bright yellow balls. They were bouncy and felt just right in her hand. Samantha knew that using new balls would ensure consistent performance during her training sessions. She put a couple of balls into her tennis bag ready to be used on the court. Moving on, Samantha took a look at her sports shoes. She had chosen a pair of comfortable tennis shoes that provided excellent support. They had a special sole designed for better grip on the court. Samantha knew that having proper footwear would prevent her from slipping and help her make swift movements while playing. She double-checked the laces and tied them tightly. She didn't want her shoes to come undone while running. Lastly, Samantha admired her tennis attire. She wore a sleeveless top and a skirt made of breathable fabric. The outfit allowed her to move freely without any discomfort. Samantha knew that being comfortable in her clothes would enhance her performance on the court. She made sure her outfit was neatly ironed and ready to go. Finally, it was time for Samantha's first tennis lesson. She stepped onto the court, feeling nervous yet determined. As she started practicing her shots, 
she realized how important her equipment was for her court performance. The lightweight racket allowed her to swing with ease and hit the balls accurately. The tight strings helped her control the direction and speed of her shots. Samantha's new tennis balls bounced perfectly on the court. She practiced her serves, forehand, and backhand strokes with confidence. Each time she hit the ball, she could feel the power and accuracy created by her racket and balls. It was an amazing feeling. The sports shoes with their special grit soles kept Samantha steady on the court. She moved swiftly and didn't worry about slipping or falling. Her comfortable tennis attire allowed her to focus solely on her game without any distractions. As Samantha continued her lessons, she realized that having the right tennis equipment was crucial for improving her skills. With each practice session, she became more coordinated and skilled at handling her racket, balls, shoes, and attire. Her court performance improved significantly, and she started winning friendly matches with her friends. Samantha learned an important lesson. The quality of her tennis equipment directly affected her game. She understood the importance of maintaining her racket, using new balls, and wearing appropriate shoes and attire. With the right equipment, Samantha was on her way to becoming a tennis champion. Her coach always reminded her, remember, Samantha mastering the tennis equipment is just as important as mastering the game itself. Samantha nodded, knowing that her journey to tennis mastery had only just begun. Question, what kind of equipment do you need for playing tennis? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 3 the skills every tennis player should have. In Chapter 3 of our tennis journey, we will explore the important skills every tennis player should have. Tennis is not just about hitting the ball back and forth. It requires a combination of various skills that help players excel on the court. One of the first skills we'll discuss is the grip. The way you hold your racket can greatly impact your shots. There are different types of grips, such as the Eastern Grip or the Continental Grip. Each grip gives you a different level of control and power. It's essential to find the grip that works best for you. Technique is another crucial aspect of tennis. The way you swing your racket and position your body influences the accuracy and strength of your shots. Beginners might find it challenging to master the technique initially, but with practice, it becomes more natural. Strokes are what make tennis exciting. There are different types of strokes, such as forehand and backhand. Each stroke requires a different movement of your arm, wrist, and body. Learning and improving your strokes allows you to hit the ball with precision and power. Footwork is the foundation of being a skilled tennis player. It's all about how you position your feet to move efficiently and effectively around the court. Good footwork helps you reach balls that seem impossible to get to. It also helps you maintain a balanced position to execute your shots accurately. Quick reflexes are a must-have skill in tennis. You need to react swiftly to the opponent's shots. Whether it's returning a serve or volleying a fast-paced ball, Having quick reflexes helps you stay in the game. Practice drills that improve your reaction time can sharpen this skill. Besides your own shots, you must also be alert to your opponent's shots. Strategic thinking is an essential skill in tennis. Analyzing your opponent's strengths and weaknesses can help you anticipate their shots and develop counter strategies. By staying one step ahead, you can gain the upper hand in a match. Now, let's imagine a scenario. You're on the court, grip firm, technique polished, and strokes ready. Your footwork is swift, and your reflexes are lightning fast. As the ball comes flying toward you, you have two choices. React instantly or let it pass you by. Trusting your skills and strategic thinking, you quickly analyze the shot and position yourself perfectly to return it with a powerful stroke. Your opponent is taken aback, realizing they underestimated your abilities. In summary, 
The skills introduced in Chapter 3 are the building blocks of becoming a proficient tennis player. From the essential grip to perfecting your strokes, mastering footwork and quick reflexes, and applying strategic thinking, these skills give you the confidence and ability to dominate the court. So, grab your racket, practice diligently, and enhance these skills to become an exceptional tennis player. Question, what are some essential skills in tennis? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 4, The Delight of Tennis Matches The excitement in the air was palpable as the tennis matches began. The players stood on the court, ready to engage in some intense rallies and exchanges of shots. They were determined to win points and show off their skills to the cheering crowd. The first match started with a bang. Two skilled players faced each other, hitting the ball back and forth with precision and power. The suspense built up with every stroke as the spectators watched in awe. The crowd could feel the electric atmosphere surrounding them. With each rally, the players showcased their agility and technique. The ball flew across the net, expertly maneuvered by both players. The audience gasped at the speed and accuracy of the shots. It was an incredible display of athleticism. As the match progressed, the tension mounted. Both players were determined to win every point, and they fought fiercely for their victories. The crowd screamed and applauded at every brilliant shot, adding to the intensity of the game. The match was neck and neck. The players were evenly matched, and it seemed like the winner could be anyone's guess. The rallies became more intense, each shot more crucial than the last. The players dove, stretched, and leaped to reach the ball, captivating the audience with their skills. The players' dedication was clear as they pushed themselves to their limits. Sweat poured down their faces, but they didn't give up. They were determined to emerge victorious. The tension was thick, and the suspense was almost unbearable. Finally, the moment arrived when one player gained the upper hand. With a powerful serve and a perfectly aimed shot, they won a crucial point. The crowd erupted in cheers and applause, captivated by the player's incredible display of talent. The momentum seemed to shift in one player's favor but the other player wasn't backing down. They fought back with equal determination, refusing to let their opponent take the lead. The intensity in their eyes was matched only by the ferocity of their shots. It was a battle until the very end. In the last few moments, the rallies became shorter but more intense. The players played their hearts out, exchanging shots with lightning-fast reflexes. Each point brought the match closer to its nail-biting conclusion. In the end, one player emerged triumphant. With a final, perfectly executed shot, they won the match. The crowd erupted into wild applause, celebrating the thrilling victory. It was a match to remember, full of excitement and incredible moments. As the players embraced at the net, congratulating each other on a hard-fought battle, the spectators relished in the joy and thrill of the intense tennis match. They had witnessed a competition that had them on the edge of their seats, suspending reality for the duration of the game. The delight of tennis matches had once again captivated everyone's hearts, leaving them eager for more. Question, what makes tennis matches exciting? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 5, Tips for Becoming a Tennis Champion in this chapter, we will talk about some important tips that will help you become a tennis champion. Becoming a tennis champion requires a lot of hard work, practice, and determination. So, let's get started. To become a tennis champion, you need to practice regularly. Practice helps you improve your skills and become better at tennis. You should take out some time every day to hit the tennis ball and work on different shots like forehand, backhand, and serve. The more you practice, the more you will enhance your skills. Another important tip is to learn from experienced players. 
watching professional tennis matches or playing with skilled players can teach you a lot. Observe their techniques, footwork, and strategies. You can also learn from their mistakes and try to avoid them when you play. Physical fitness is also crucial in becoming a tennis champion. Tennis requires a lot of running, jumping, and quick movements. So, it is important to keep your body fit and flexible. You can do exercises like jogging, stretching, and skipping to improve your physical fitness. Remember, a healthy body leads to better performance on the tennis court. In addition to physical fitness, mental toughness is equally important. Tennis matches can be challenging and full of pressure. It is important to stay calm and focused under pressure. You can practice mindfulness and relaxation techniques to keep your mind in the right state. Mental toughness will help you stay confident during matches and overcome any obstacles you face. Speaking of pressure in matches, it's natural to feel nervous, especially during important games. But don't let those nerves get the best of you. Take deep breaths, stay positive, and believe in yourself. Remember, everyone makes mistakes, even experienced players. What matters is how you handle those mistakes and keep going. Now, let's talk about the importance of having a good coach. A coach can guide you, correct your mistakes, and provide valuable advice. They can help you develop your skills and work on your weaknesses. So, find a coach who can support and motivate you on your journey to become a tennis champion. Lastly, enjoy the process. Becoming a tennis champion takes time, effort, and dedication. So, don't forget to have fun while practicing and playing matches. Enjoy the sport and the friendships you make along the way. Tennis is not just about winning, but also about the joy of playing. In conclusion, becoming a tennis champion requires practice, learning from experienced players, physical fitness, mental toughness, and handling pressure during matches. Keep these tips in mind and work hard towards achieving your goals. Remember, you can achieve anything if you put your heart and soul into it. Good luck on your journey to becoming a tennis champion. Question, what are some tips to become a tennis champion? Check the video 